Okay, just a catalog, and we're going to keep an eye on these uh, triangles. I see it up there right now. I know you probably can't, but here we go. We're going to let it get focused. But I just wanted to show you this is uh, across the street there. Okay. Alright, over there. I can see them with my eyes, but the camera's not picking them up. And there they go. Hmm. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up or not, but I can see them with my eyes. They go, oh, there's all three of them now. Alright, if you can see the palm tree, they're right there too. Maybe a little bit higher. There's one. Mm -hmm. right, which one is it? That's, that might be the bottom one. Or, mm, it's the bottom, brightest one right now. To the right is another one. I think. Oh, I dropped out. But, oh, he's still there. Okay. Well, there should be two of them in there. Yeah, there's two. All right. Now those are the bottom two. The top. Oh no, that's the top two. I'm sorry. This damn triangle always changes. Because I'm um, there. You see it? All right. I'm gonna zoom in. No, I gotta adjust this thing. Yeah. Let me adjust it proper. tripod and it's a pain in the butt. Anyway, people, this is our triangle over here. That is one of two. Now, most nights I come out here, I see seven bright lights in the sky. Of course, we're talking about Phoenix. The pollution is hard to see through, and there was a time when we got no stars at all. Well, these aren't stars either. Okay. I look up straight up. There's a giant, huge, enormous triangle. Uh, what I call a triangle. It's, it's a black craft and there's three points of light coming from it. Okay, Now to the south and right now to the west it's about 10 o'clock on August 30th 2016. This is what I see to the southwest. It starts kind of more in the south but it's been moving more and more west and this thing changes all the time. It'll stay like this for months and months and months. And then all of a sudden it'll change. And you'll look at you'll look at it, and it's like a straight line. Why? Because if you take a triangle and you turn it sideways, what does it look like? Three dots. You can't always see them because when it's perfectly lined up, you won't see the one that's furthest from you because it'll be blocked by the craft. Well. I've got plenty of audio and video or video on this stuff and when it turns sideways it's and I, when I see all three of the dots of the lights they're, they're, you call them you're gonna try to say they're satellites bullshit this is now look it up please if you're watching this watch Travis Walton and his experience after I mean 30 40 30 38 40 years after his experience of being abducted you know the guy from the movie Fire in the Sky? Listen to him. Listen to the. Just look it up. There's everybody is looking up this triangle. And also, do me a favor. Look at NASA's logo. You'll see a vector shape, a big V. You know, like a triangle or maybe a pyramid-looking thing. Now go to every single country on the planet and look up their space programs logo you will see they all have a similar shape a big vector shape in it and then check out CERN and their logo has <laughs> three sixes in there give me a break there's something going on people and I want everybody to be aware if we get ahead for the hills well I like to fish 
thanks for watching and subscribe because I'm out here every night. Most times all night. Love you guys. Bye.